right, guys, it is time to get the grow. I told you I was not going to cut the grass today. And there's the lawnmower sitting back there. And it ain't moved. Hi, Ella. Ah. So I told you, I'm not going to do the grass today. Anyway, I got to get the barbecue lit here. We're going to put some ribeyes on here. The grill. What do you all use to clean the grill? I mean, I can scrub this sucker and then right back. Here, have a look. That is absolutely disgusting. Look at this up here. Now I got one of these brushes here, one of these things here, but I mean, it didn't seem to do a whole lot. I did have a wire brush for a bit. It seemed to do a little bit better, but what do you clean your grill with? Cause, all right, I got the fire started in the chimney. Not sure what kind of wood I'm gonna put in it today. <laughs> Never mind. Eater day. What we got? All right, so I guess today's wood choice is, almost fell down there, is gonna be pecan. So ribeye, barbecued. It's not, I'm not smoking it, folks. This is just for a little bit of flavor. All right, guys, so some of you may have seen them on Facebook. Uh, the new addition to our family. You all ready for this? I'm not sure that we were. There you go. Daddy's filming Axel. This is Axel. There's the OG, that's Diesel. He's got themselves a stick. They continuously empty out my wood pile and shred it out in the backyard. Took them about a day, day and a half to really get along. We eased them in gently. But uh, Axel's like a bull in a china shop. He's a working dog. So he is clearly bred for working, which, you know, he's high strung, high drive, high ball drive, high prey drive. But uh, he's a good looking fella. I think he's black and red, but sometimes he looks tan, sometimes he looks red, depending on what the sun's doing, but more so black and red. Diesel over there, as you know, he's a Lab Shepherd mix. He's a sable color. He doesn't seem to be put out at all. You're all wondering why he's dragging that leash. I'm going to tell you why. So we had to change his name. It was Kanye. We changed it to Axel. Just something a little tougher. But anyway, so... To get him to come to us he doesn't always want to come to us and I am working on a, a method to get him to come to us pretty much every time which is working pretty good the odd time him and diesel get a little carried away with the uh, chasing and the you know the rough housing diesel will listen Axel won't so if I gotta catch him I can catch him and running in a circle around that trampoline diesel's much quicker Axel's a little smarter Axel will cut the middle and head him off but we're all just eating up the grass now. Maybe I ain't got to cut that. Dogs are eating it. There are plenty more videos with Axel to come. They, they play rough. I mean, rough. There's no growl and no actual fighting, but they play rough, and Jen does not like that at all. They're going to get their pecking order. That's what I tried to tell her. They're going to get their pecking order, and then I'm going to assert the pecking order after that. So um, They take turns submitting to each other, so I have no idea what's going on there. Anyway, back to the barbecue. That's Axel. And diesel. Our chimney's starting to get the flames out the top there. All right, so those steaks got some stubs beef rub on them, black pepper, that is it. Then potatoes were grown locally. Uh, we got just nothing but black pepper, a little bit of paprika, and butter. I'm gonna cover that with tin foil, put them on the barbecue as well. All right, a couple things about this char griller after using it for a bit. This seam right here has come loose and sometimes and, uh, the smoke comes out that seam. Second thing in char griller, maybe this is something you can look at. So this handle moves the fire tray up and down, which is pretty cool. If you were to spread a bed of coals out on that tray which runs from one side of the barbecue to the other there's really no support over here because the lifting mechanism is over here it seems to tilt to the left maybe somehow build some sort of bracket support over there so that it doesn't feel like it's going to break just a minor suggestion from a guy that's used char grillers for years but other than that i love this thing it just feels like it's going to break when you get charcoal on the other side just saying. All right, we're sitting just over 300. Let's see what we're looking at. Ooh. 
That is looking good. And there we go. Sorry, that's the dishwasher you hear running there. I'm gonna cut these open and see how I did. I'm looking for a medium rare. Let's see what we did. Well, that looks pretty good to me. I'm okay with a little bit of pink and that's kind of what I wanted. The other one is gonna be like that because I've cooked it a little different than this one. This one here is cooked all the way through as you saw but it's not well done. It's far from well done. Just get rid of the paint, because Jen don't like the paint. All right, well the camera's not picking it up very well, but there's a little bit of pink in there. Those are medium rare, that's exactly what I wanted. Jen doesn't like a whole lot of paint. I don't mind it. Medium rare is where it needs to be. Well done, don't even bother. Anyway, I'm not gonna tease you people with watching me eat this steak, and the potatoes are just about done. I can tell you, it's gonna be fantastic. Alright, so I told you I wasn't going to make you watch me eat, but we can watch Jenny. How's your steak? It's good. It's good. It's even better because I didn't have to cook it. Dad, show me. Alright. Even very good. She never has to cook. I always cook. Yeah, right. See ya.